So smooth to be here, man. Dude. I know. Me too. I'm trying to play the cop out right now. Oh, that would be important. Me and yet. Going to a wedding. Oh, uh, Sam, if you see this, man, you're scared, bro. <laughs> There's no wedding. What would Max home do right now? Shout out to that guy. Find a home. Ooh. Look at that, just roll down. Let's go. Wow. Right. Come on, dog. This home field advantage for you. This will be a fun one right here. Oh, yep. Hey, man. Balls ain't cheap. Oh, there we go. That's good sand, though. Been all right. There's no such thing as good sand. <laughs> this home field advantage for you. What's good, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Golf and Gospel. I got my dog, Zach Vogel, here, executive director of Identity Sports, man. I'm going to let you know there are three rules to the channel. Right. I know you watch a couple of episodes, but one, I encourage everybody to look. Jesus, I know you do. That's why you're homie. Two, get one breakfast ball off the tee. Use a hole one, hole four, hole five. Strategically use that thing. Okay. And three, dog, ain't no giveaways on the channel. You got to finish your putt. Sounds good. Cool. All right, man. Yeah. T-Box will be yours. Here we go. Nice. Oh. It's up over there, Noah. <laughs> oh, you almost got killed? That ball just landed right in front of him. <laughs> I think that's like the second or third time Noah's almost died. No one's saying for it. Leaking right. All right, yep. here we go. We ain't kick this way. <laughs> oh. Ten minute rain delay on the first hole. Here I know, go. right, man. We got a slow group in front of us. But man, let's talk golf right now, man. Who are some people in the PGA that are impressing you? Some guys you think are getting better? Or some guys like, man, I would love to see them play better. Yeah, I really like him. Ludwig Oberg has been playing really well lately. Yeah. And I got a sure. feel for Xander Shoffley. Mm. I mean, I just love seeing him play. He's quiet. Yeah. He's kind. Like, seems like he's kind of hard and just has his wits about him. But he, he's got the stuff coming together for sure. Yeah, yeah. For me, bro, it, it's crazy. Ever since this guy switched this putter during the Masters, he's back to form with his Colin Morikawa, bro. Yeah. And I, I've always liked him, but I was so annoyed. I'm like, why are you not playing well? And yeah, he did really well in the Masters. He did really well at RBC. I think he tied for ninth. Uh, so I think he's coming back to form, and yeah, I gotta agree with you with uh, Ludwig, bro. He is, yeah, he's playing out of his mind. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. It's a guy by the name of Scotty Scheffler, who's <laughs> not letting him succeed in anything. That's another question I have, man. Do, do you think right now watching the PJ, it's like I already know the end of the movie? It's I. It feels like you know watching the Masters and some of the other tournaments. Even if you see Scotty down in the third round, maybe in seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Yeah. You just have to know that he's coming. Yeah. It's like yeah. Jaws is coming. You hear the Jaws music. Yeah. He's, he's coming for you. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Let me see what I can do with this ball right here. All right, awkward lie here. Sit. Here he goes. Check. Check. Sit. Dang it. Favorite shot here. Sam. It actually looks nice though. That'll play. Alright, this is weird guys, because if I hit up, it's gonna roll down a hill. I'd rather putt uphill. Oh man. What would Max Homer do right now? Shout out to that guy. Hit it, hit it. That was so difficult. Oh, oh man. Greens are running. They are, but I was above this hill, bro. I was like, yeah. I don't know. Bad start. Man, I mean, watching that take off, it almost makes me want to putt this. <laughs> All right, soft hands here. Save a bogey, please. Or you can go in, that'd be cool. There you go. Sit down. It's good. Uh, come back. All right. You need one? Yep. Rookie mistake, guys. I always bring a marker. Is this amateur hour? I know, right? <laughs> I didn't think I was going to need it. This is still a scary putt. Wow, Almost floppy. Gotta hit it. Gotta hit it. As they like to say, guys, still you, dog. 
<laughs> Get my shadow out your way. Have some proper etiquette. Find a home. Woo. Look at that, just roll down. I know. Finish mine off here. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I ain't taking no risk. This joint out of here. <clears throat> Man, super downhill. <laughs> that's that's a scary putt. People people who watch them like it's right there. You miss that thing, it's going back to the bunker. There's a beautiful three putt again. There we go. Rears its ugly head. <laughs> Is that a double? Yeah. All right. Bogey to double, guys. Go. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> oh, my gosh. A couple more curls today. I know, right? Oh, I'll join you down there. Join me. Join you down there. <laughs> Chipping contest. Pathetic, guys, but you can still come out with a par if I have a good chip here. They blow the hole. That ridge will help you. Come back down. Oh, wow. Just sat there. Wow. Ooh. I'll go get my marker. Yeah, I think I left mine on the green back there. Did you? Maybe. Ah, uh, gave it back. It's all good. Yeah. Wow, it's going. Speed. Get going. Still a little ways out. How much left do I want to hit this? Go. Wow. Right. Come on, dog. Ugh. Bel Air for you. Really? That's Bel Air for you. Really? What was that? A double two? Yep. Sorry, man. We both love Jesus, dog. Absolutely. <laughs> That's why I'm not the one being interviewed on stage because I interview <laughs> the golfers. Hey, I get on stage because of football. <laughs> All right, bro. So you're a part of Identity Sports, which, if I'm saying this correctly, have two branches, Tales on Tour and Tales from the Dugout. Yep. Tell me what Identity Sports is and also what your role is in Identity Sports. Yeah, for sure. Identity Sports is all about using sports as a platform to share the gospel. Um, so my role as the executive director is trying to branch. You know, it was originally founded in 2006. Mm. We do two live events every year with the Tales from the Two and Tales from the Dugout. And in the ministry, we just kind of wait until the next following waste management open and uh, Cactus League play to rebuild that. So what we're trying to do is be more consistent and really build a digital platform for these athletes to come on and share about their faith and what God is doing in and through their lives. So we do live events. Um, we also do, we're launching a podcast next month. Um, and we're also doing some other digital stuff on social media. We got a little shorts and reels that we're trying to promote. That's awesome, man. I attended one of you guys' uh, events uh, when you guys had Ted Scott, Stan Utley, Aaron Bagley, man, which is just an amazing event to just see guys who have such a high class in life because of their profession, but a profession who Christ is, man. That's awesome. We'll talk more about that, but absolutely. T box is mine. Wind's pushing it. Ah, oh, short again. Wind's like killing it. it. Yeah. Wind, it's blowing up there. I know. We can ride a bit. It's off the toe. I saw it. You got my marking out, all right? Yeah. Okay. I got it. <laughs> now it's on tape. I did toss you your marker, brother. <laughs> it's not near and dear to my heart, anyways. Speaking of markers, you saw Tiger Red stuff just came out. I did. One of his markers, I think it was 50 bucks. Yeah, I will not be buying any of them. Yeah, no way, bro. <laughs> <laughs> way too expensive. Did you see that uh, Tiger Red? A marker is 50 bucks, bro. Yeah, yeah, dog. Yeah, that's crazy. Go play around the golf instead of... I said, man, I'll go you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, man, I'll just use a quarter. Let's get another good chip here. Let's hit a green today, but we're only on the third hole. It's a great there chip, Jerm. Someone's been working great on Great chipping today. Hey, I'll just be in the backyard, bro. 
Ooh, slow down, slow down. Uh oh, shout out to the homie Mariah Swaghart for getting us on here at Bel Air Park. Great course for beginners, even if you're experienced, really fun course. Fixing up the bunkers, man. I really enjoy Bel Air. <laughs> pin in, pin out. You pick. All right, let's see if I learn from the greens on the other couple <laughs> holes. Oh, good putt. But that's straight on uphill. There we go. Here's your mark. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Maybe I should have handed it to you. Maybe that would have helped a lot. Nice folks. There we go. There we go. Hey, improvement. <laughs> improvement. I did learn something from the greens. <laughs> Is home field advantage for you? <sighs> Have we shot our most stuff here? Yeah, yeah probably yeah. is home field. What do you think is where you spend the most time with working on your game? Uh, I would say short game only because my backyard is a putting green. Yeah. I got a little chipping man stuff. So okay. every time my wife let me take out the trash, I'm just like, let me get some shots up real yeah. quick. And I hit like two softballs onto the uh the green so i mean it's a good idea yeah it's probably a testament to why i'm chipping really well <laughs> but it sucks because i'm chipping well on part yeah. three course <laughs> just hit the green off the tee breakfast <laughs> Let's be good Oh, a little deep. Yeah. I'm gonna have to start shooting it myself. I don't know if I trust you. <laughs> hey, don't scapegoat me. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Yeah, it's bent back too. Oh, I hope they don't come back to bite me using the breakfast ball that early, but. <laughs> I really want to score. I really, yeah. I really want to score. This will be a fun one right here. Some extra sand. Short green side. Uh, green slopes down towards the water. Oh, yep. Grab that. Grab that and sit. Where'd it go? Oh. Hey, man. Balls ain't cheap. Oh. oh there we go. There's that. I'm a little pitching wedge. Gonna act like I'm putting it. Get it close. Oh, wow. Get out in there. Wow. A shot. Thanks. Oh. Just. Ooh, there he is. Get in the hole. There he is. That's crazy. Oh. Oh, there you go. Okay. Bugs Bunny's down in there. I know, right? <sighs> May want to understand that reference. Space Jam. <laughs> Not the LeBron version. The only good version there. Right. Is. Nice. Right. Do you mark All it right, behind? No more breakfast ball. That's a par, though. Do you mark it behind it? Uh, to the left. To the left. Yes, yeah, so there you go. <sighs> oh. Fun. Slow down, man. You good, bro. You better start talking about some gospel stuff. <laughs> Get me out of my head. Oh, there man. Hey, man. Jesus loves us unconditionally. <laughs> he doesn't care. Finding joy What's your in score? The game, is? Yeah. <laughs> regardless of the shot. So, obviously, when I do any sports, man, you get a lot of amazing tour players. Obviously, the most known golf right now, Scotty Scheffler. Like I said, you have the homie Ted Scott on with numerous other golfers, man. What is, we don't want to sing with a golfer out, but what's something impactful for you heard someone say on Tales on the Tour? Yeah, I think one of my favorite lines has been from Caddy Ted Scott. Well, he did, now with Scotty he's them out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, he was mentioning, you know, before, and now he's won two Masters mm -hmm. with, with Scotty, yeah, but uh, he had Bubba. won two with Bubba. Mm -hmm. And he was just mentioning, you know, he got a phone call from Bubba one of the mm -hmm. times and was kind of saying, what's the point? Just oh, a yeah, week yeah, after yeah. he won the Masters. Mm -hmm. And you're like, what do you mean, what's the point? 
is at the pinnacle of the sport. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you hear these guys who you aspire to be like, mm -hmm. and then they reach the pinnacle of what they want to do, and it doesn't fulfill them. Mm -hmm. so like, what's next? That, yeah. can't, that can't be it. There's got to be something more. Right. So just to hear those guys that we all look up to mm -hmm. really be raw and honest that the only thing that can truly fill you is a relationship with Jesus Christ. That's awesome, man. Yeah, because you would think, like, once you receive the green jacket, you're always still chasing more, regardless, mm -hmm. man. And it's good that there is an answer in Christ, man. And obviously, with what you guys do and what, obviously, my channel promotes, man, we want you guys to experience the love and joy of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, but I hope I experience a green and red right here. So let's go. Yeah. Let's try and make the Lord proud. Let's make my wife proud. I try to put too much power in that. I hate that I said all that and I let them all down. <laughs> Hey, sometimes what you do in times of failure or distress <laughs> speaks more volumes than what you do in the, the good times. Right. Thanks <laughs> for the encouragement. There's also a great movie, Seven Days in Utopia, if you've never heard of it. <laughs> good Christian movie, but they just promote SFT. See it? Feel it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It. I remember that, yeah. It's a good swing thought that I've gotten away from. Get there. Just not hitting that club solid Throw right, right. Oh, bad kick. It'll be all right. It didn't go to the cart though. Nope. Good legs. Oh, hit that little fat. Dang it. Stop casting. Been trying to work on that shot after hearing a stand, stand that lead tip. Oh, yeah. It's been running through my mind all day. Just got to let it play. Believe in the shot. <sighs> Didn't leave myself an easy putt. Hey. Find a home. Oh. Oh, man, I got to finish it. Yeah, ain't no gimme oh. over there, man. <laughs> no gimme. Oh, wow. It's another one like it. <laughs> Come on, Bugs Bunny. Oh. Dang. Not really mad at that. <sighs> Double. Don't call to come back. <laughs> it started. That's a good way to look at it. Ah. Practice range verse of the week is 1 Thessalonians 5.17. Simply says, pray without ceasing. Don't give up on your prayers, guys. Now back to this episode of Golf and Gossip. Draw. Ooh. I might use my mulligan on this. There one. he is. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Why can I do that in my real swing? Matter of fact, I'm going to do it right now. Look at that. Nice. Shot. Thank you. And Ooh, I pulled it. What you use? I'm between clubs, so I tried you, to baby You did say you hated that. But this I distance. just crushed that. Let's make something happen. See it? Still too hard. Oh, I no. I hit the rough where I wanted to. Come on. That's a good putt. Ooh. Oh. Hey, Noah Brediger, dog. Come on, man. I'm going to just finish. You right good? That would be a sick bird. Ugh. Nice. Run, though. I'll be a caddy, bro. Good. Let me get these, man. Learned a lot from Ted. Get in the hole. Find the edge. Double. Right. Thank you. There you go, man. A lot can happen now. It can. A lot can happen. Hey, guys, like and subscribe for the kid. <laughs> also, go like and subscribe on Identity Sports on YouTube. They Do will it. be in the description in my bio.
kick up. Oh, bad kick. That's that fine, though. Right. This tee box is hard because I, like, knit something above it. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Avoided the bunker, though. Yeah, I mean, that's that's good sand, though. Been all right. There's no such thing as good sand. <laughs> We've seen worse, bro. Oh, no. Where did that start coming out? All right. So I came across a great verse Monday morning in Dallas preparing for the Tales from the Tour. What was it? So there's a lot of verses like it, like Colossians 3.23. For sure. Whatever you do, work hard, they some jump for the Lord, not mm -hmm. for men. But mm -hmm. 1 Peter 4, 10 through 11. Oh, it just yeah. kind of like As each another, you the gift, yeah, just like another way of another. saying it. You know, mm -hmm. anyone, everyone has a different talent and a gift, yeah. and you're called to use that yeah. to share the gospel, to be a disciple wherever you're at. I mean, mm -hmm. you think, you know, back, you know, I played some baseball back in my day, and mm -hmm. trying to invite teammates to go to church with you, yeah. sometimes it's hard because, you know, sometimes churches have stereotypes for better mm -hmm. or worse. Unfortunately. But God calls you mm -hmm. to go and be the church wherever you're at. Oh, 100%. And so all those, you know, 24, 25 teammates, mm -hmm you can bring the church directly to them. And yeah. that's what, you know, Identity Sports is trying to do. And I love what you guys are doing mm -hmm. with, with your channel as well. Yeah. That's what it is. You yeah. know, people, TikTok, Instagram, they may not go to church, but they yeah. consume their media on, on YouTube yeah. and all that stuff. And so we got to meet them where they're at with the gospel. And that's the thing that's amazing too, because I said when I did my sermon in Montrose, Colorado, my main scripture was Romans 12, 4, 8, how it says we're one body. Yeah. In Christ, but we have many members and we have roles to do in fulfilling yeah. what we're called to do in Christ, man. That's good. Uh, but I like your point in bringing those things, the gift the, uh, the gift that God's given us through His grace to walk that out outside of the building of the church. Yeah. So that's a great point, bro. Yeah. Uh oh. Get on. Let's go. All right. All right. I, I want to stay below this hill. My ball tends run out a lot. Long to short. Hit it fat again. Stop doing that, Jeremy. Ugh. Hit the ground before I hit the ball right there. Beautiful. Maybe two cups over. Uphill, bro. Hit the ball. Mm, and a turn. That was for boats. Yep. There we but go. Bogey. So I have to ask you. Put, put you on the spot. Put me on the spot. Who's the worst player you've had on your channel? Outside of me? <laughs> the worst player I've had on the channel that I've golfed with. Or the worst round. Let's say that. Pro probably... Oh, dang. It, it would have to be me and Torrance because we, we've been on multiple times. Yeah. So I had an episode I shot in Georgia against my boy Artavis Scott. Pathetic. And then if you go back and look at the Emma Talley episode, Torrance yeah. had. Yeah. <laughs> Noah's laughing. It, yeah, it was that one. So I can't out nobody else, but I can only talk about how bad we played <laughs> before. Plus four. I don't even want to know my score. <laughs> don't even want to know. It popped up on the screen already. Yeah. <laughs> Easily one of the worst rounds I've played in a long time. <laughs> it's not the worst though. <laughs> hey, also, my boy, I love him, my boy Chan. Chan, yeah, yeah Chan played horrible on his episode, dog. He played so bad, man. Yeah. Shout out to my boy Chan, <laughs> dog. Now, there was, there was also a quote from Fred Luter, who's a Southern Baptist preacher in uh, Louisiana. He said, You can't reach this iPod 8 track. You can't reach this iPod, iPad generation with 8-track ministry. Yeah. And so it's, you know, the, the message, the gospel stays the same, but the way that oh, yeah. we deliver it has to change. Yeah. The channels that we use, the mediums we use. Yeah. So that's why it's so fun to do things like like these podcasts and mm -hmm. these live events. Is yeah. you, you know, you take someone that people look up to, you know, one of their heroes, and then to hear them share their faith and be authentic in what they're doing. And yeah. He just gives you chills every time. Absolutely, man. And, and I want to say, because me and my pastor talked about when, when we're trying to obviously reach a new generation with the analogy is used to make sure we're using context within the script, uh, use the scripture within the context that it's speaking mm -hmm. of too, man. Yeah. Because I think, uh, I, me and my pastor talked about this in our episode, illustrations are good, 
but sometimes people do too much with illustration where the illustration becomes above the word. Yeah. And now I'm more so looking forward to what your next act is going to be as opposed to what you're going to preach next. So I think you make a great point too, man. Um, we just got to be really, really careful with that. Really, yeah. really careful. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. All right, so obviously with Identity Sports or specific Tales on Tour, you get a lot of PGA guys. But we see in the game of golf right now, there's been division between mm-hmm. the PGA and the live. But one thing we want to make sure that there is no division when it comes to the gospel. So are you guys more so opposed to having live players also uh, be panelists on Tales on Tour? Yeah, I mean, it's open to anyone. I mean, the, the kingdom of God is not, you know, it's, it's not... Um, know what the best word is but there's really no judgment right i yeah. mean it's what it's you do for yeah what yeah. you do for a living doesn't define who you are as a person mm-hmm. and you know that's not saying that if you go to live there's a bad thing they've mm-hmm. all got their reasons why they go do that yeah um but there's still you know there's still christ lovers and followers on yeah. that and so you know if we have some live guys that are interested we'll definitely have them on stage yeah 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 that was always, one thing i was always curious about because yeah you don't want to see division within the gospel too uh and i will hope if there was one thing that live in the PGA, at least the Christian guys can dwell in unity in, mm-hmm. it's the gospel if they were to do something in identity sports. So anybody, if you watch this and you don't live, man, come to Tales on Tour, yep. bro. Come to Tales on Tour and, and share your gospel. Share the gospel, Absolutely. not your gospel, the gospel, excuse me. But uh, T-Box be mine now. You know, I specifically don't have a golf ball deal with anybody, but shout out to uh, Kirkland, bro. I've been eating with Kirkland right now. It's crazy. I do got a couple Callaways, some Tylers, some Taylor Nays in my bag, but I just reached in with that one. We've been walking our life with Christ together on this episode. That's nice. A little right. Good thing you waited till they moved. Huh? Good thing you waited till they moved. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> that was right where they were at. Cut. Take that all day long. You're good. Open my hip up, not hit it fat. Oh, that's that's nice. Get in. Get in. Wow. Good shot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> good shot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was so nice. The one time it doesn't run out, huh? Go. Oh, tap in par. You deserve that, bro. (laughs) Thank you. Come on, Bert. Go, go, got it. Come on, man. Stay humble, bro. I save. Thank you, man. Well, I guess it's technically not a save. Yeah, it's a great rig. (laughs) Good rescue, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Like I said, no matter what course I go to, I always get plus nine, plus ten. Yeah. And this right now, this is Chelsea. If you're watching this, this is a testament to your coaching. The short she, game's looking good. Yes, because she's been coaching me for a little minute. I'm like, bro, I got to reap at some point. She does an amazing job coaching. Chelsea, you got any open slots? All right, bro, so on my channel, man, one thing I'm always saying over and over is, like, what, who our identity lies in, man. And that's what you guys are all about, man. So can you speak about the importance as not only an athlete, but your everyday person, why it's important to know that their identity is in Christ? Yeah, and, I mean, that's the whole reason behind identity sports is, you know, my personal testimony, I played baseball and I was playing for selfish reasons and then I actually had through a medical condition where I was told I would never play again wow and so all my friends and family were in baseball and so I felt like my life was just crushed I didn't know who I was because when people would ask who you are I'd say Mm. I'm a baseball player yeah and then you know God through a miracle surgery allowed me to actually go back and play Mm -hmm. baseball again which then you kind of see you know using sport for what God intended it to Mm. be which is another tool to share the gospel and so by finding you know, I had that identity crisis where I didn't know who I was outside of what I did for a living. Mm-hmm. And so when you find your identity in Christ, you're setting yourself up, you know, you're not setting yourself up for failure. You know who you are yeah. and you're loved no matter what you do. And then you come out here and I'm yeah. playing terrible golf, but yeah. I know my identity is not my golf score. Yeah, 100%. Mm-hmm. That's one thing that 
And I hate that I keep saying his name over and over because I'm not trying to purposely name drop, but like he was really just spitting facts. One thing Ted told us, man, how our identity is not in our golf score. I understand your, your, your golf score puts you in a certain rank in a certain place, but at the end of the day, like, you probably play this much of golf, you have that much of life to live. And especially in football, yeah. too, where I come from, the average lifespan in football is 2.9. Mm-hmm. So if I'm playing that much of football, I got that much of my life, man, I got to make sure I know who my identity lies in. And I, and I hope for any football player that's watching this to make sure that you know who your identity is while you're in the league now and enjoy your time in the league, but know who you're playing for. So then when you're done, whenever that comes to be, uh, you're not confused or lost at who you are. And like I said, for me, it's okay to grieve when the sport is open, but you know who you are, man. Again, we really want to press that issue, man, because we want people to, you know, understand and feel the love and joy and the hope that's in Christ, man. And uh, hope I hit a fairway here, so that's good. Yeah. All right, a little bunker to the right. Been playing a little fade. Play that fade. Oh, back kick. Oh, back kick. Didn't hit a fairway. Hit the other fairway. If anything, it's like that last hole. Your approach shot's going to save your butt. Oh, nice, bro. Man, we just needed these longer shots. That might shots. be on the green. Forget the short game. Ah, dang, you <laughs> might have sent it. That was a nice shot. Thank you. Do that thick stuff. I like this. That was smart. That was smart. I ain't mad. That was smart. A little right, keep it low. Come down, please. Hey, all right. Eagle. Fly, Philly, Get fly. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Good attempt, bro. <laughs> it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And it broke right a little bit last second for you? Mm-hmm. Dang it, and I said it, I said <laughs> it. I literally said it. I said it broke you right it last coming. second. <sighs> Bogey, dang. So much for that bird, man. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Pleasure. Nice playing with yeah. you, man. Absolutely. Hey, guys, please, again, follow Identity Sports, YouTube, TikTok. Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, man. Yeah, yeah they, get, they got a lot of dope PGA guys that come over there. Scotty Scheffler, Aaron Bagley, Andrew Putnam. Shout out to our guy, Andrew Putnam. Um, so, yeah, man, please check them out. Please like and subscribe to this channel as well. Shout out to the videographer, Noah Bredega, as well. And we'll see you guys in the next episode of Dolphin Gospel. Peace. It's been a pleasure. Yeah.